The Corruption Perceptions Index compiles points awarded by seven international institutions looking at political, economic and governance transformations in the public sector. Holding its fourth position on the continent as it did in 2018, Rwanda's points, however, fell from 56 to 53 percent. In the World Economic Forum, Economic Forum usually ranks Rwanda well, and if this year the marks they awarded reduced compared to previous years, then there is a reason. If, for example, we have an Auditor General, and many do not have one, for he does a good job, but what does the government do with his report? How are things finalized? Aren't there institutions that have appeared in the Auditor General's report so many times people have gotten tired of seeing them there? We should think of such matters. Rwanda still holds the first position in East and Central Africa when it comes to fighting corruption and is topped by seashells, Cape Verde and Botswana on the entire continent. We believe that things are going well, even though improvements can be made. However, those awarding the points are the only ones that can decide how much they allocate. We are going to increase our efforts to make known what institutions in Rwanda are going to do to further bolster the fight against corruption, putting emphasis on making public what those institutions are doing, far more than we are doing now. Transparency International says two-thirds of all countries globally have less than 50 percent when it comes to fighting corruption. And the head of Transparency International Rwanda also notes that this latest report should not be confused with the country's own bribery index. Rwanda Bribery Index the Rwanda Bribery Index is the one which will show you just how much corruption there is and what institution has the most. That one is very different from the CIP, the Corruption Perceptions Index, which looks at it in a general sense, looking at the entire system and laws in place. We must look into how we are using the resources at our disposal, the laws, institutions, policies and all that. Because up until now, we agree that the political will exists to fight corruption. The Corruption Perceptions Index gives the best performing country globally, New Zealand, 78%, while the worst performing Somalia has just 9%. The index compiles data from 180 countries around the world since 1995.